Um, I guess, first of all, if, if you can explain in a understandable way, uh, somewhat scientific, but also understandable for my readers and viewers, what are induced pluripotent stem cells? So, can I say just iPS cells? Yes. Is, is yeah. okay? So, iPS cells are very similar to ES cells, embryonic stem cells. But it's not from embryos, but from uh, adult skin cells or blood cells, mm -hmm. body, body cells. So, we don't have to use embryos. Instead, we can make iPS cells from patients' own cells. And from iPS cells, we can make variety of cells, virtually all types of cells that exist in our body, like heart cells, brain cells, muscle cells. Those cells we can use in many medical applications, such as drug discovery and also uh, regenerative medicine. So that's what iPS cells are. And, and how how are those developed? How how did you come across this in the in the lab? So, we we knew we should be able to make iPS cells from skin cells. Mm -hmm. We can we should be able to convert skin cells into back into embryonic state. You know. Uh, a very, a very famous sheep, Dolly. Right. Dolly the sheep. So uh, uh, she was born by reprogramming of somatic cells back into the embryonic state. So from that experiment, we learned that we should be able to convert somatic cells 